Even during um, when they were standing up, he was still outstruck him. He was like kicking in the legs, and then he was like doing some combinations, and he, and even like knocked Nate Diaz so many times with the punches, and he even got to a, got to the point where he was even like punching the knee. He even went down and started punching the knee, and he even like not only did he do that, he started punching the knee, and he went on these and he hit him, knocked him down, and he went after him and just started grinding and pounding the man. But here's the thing, Nate Diaz was still in the game. He was still throwing strikes, pretty good strikes and everything, pretty good knees, but it was not enough. I mean, Nate Diaz looked like he just got jumped, he got busted up and messed up in his face. Smooth Henderson looked like he hasn't been touched at all, even though he has been hit. But those hits were not like he, like not, it wasn't like um, Nate's comfortable distance where he could actually strike with precision. If anything, he was he was punching um, Henderson when Henderson was already grappling him so close that the punches weren't as effective as they could be if he would have had a distance. And Henderson even threw like a couple side kicks to his knee, which I felt he should have done more of. But in any event, being a being, being from the background from Taekwondo, in any event though, he should have like I said thrown more side kicks, but he didn't have to because he did so much other things that he did. Out striking him, out wrestling him, and that's just say he took Nate Diaz down so many times. Matter of fact, in the third and the fourth round, Nate tried to um, lock. He not only used the Kamara, try to lock the Kamara on him, but a couple of, well, even more than a couple of times, he tried to do his leg submissions on Benson Henderson. And even one point, Benson Henderson even did the splits while he was trying to do a knee bar, and Benson Henderson just kept the splits. Kept it, you know, had the splits between his um, Nate's legs, so that the pressure would not be applied. And if anything, because because when you are are really that flexible, you're not gonna you're sustain you're not gonna be susceptible to injury as much. Actually, you're gonna be very safe because especially if you're flexible, your knees and everybody everything in your body's really relaxed. So there was no way that I don't know what Nate think he was doing trying to submit him while Henderson Henderson was doing a splits. It was amazing, and, and then on top of that, too, Henderson picked him up from grabbing near his grind area, and it slammed him again. I mean, Benson Henderson dictated the fight, and he just had his way with Nate all five rounds. I mean, it was just total dominance. It, it was not even fun. It was not. I mean, sure, he did not. If he could have finished him off. I don't even know why he didn't choose to choke him out, because he could have done that. He had him on his back a couple times. But he just chews, just pounding him, just pounding him and kicking him, and even did a axe kick to his stomach, punch him in the gut, elbows. He did just everything. Use his body. He was powerful. He was stronger. But he was smarter, and too, he was. I mean, this guy was more, more talented, even more advanced. It was just there was no way that Nate was really going to do anything. And he tried submission holes. He tried Kimuras. He he tried to do. Um, what you may call it, um, guillotine choke to no avail. He even tries taking Henderson, Henderson down one time, and Henderson just quickly slipped out of it. Like, it was no big deal, you know? And this, like I said, this is Nate Diaz. And Nate Diaz is really good. He's extremely talented. But again, Benson Henderson, Benson Henderson, is, like I said, he, I, you know, guy is beyond, he's a little beyond human as, as far as I'm concerned. So... But, and then on top of that, too, in, the, in victory, he was very, very, um, he had great humility. He didn't even talk about the fight of anything. He talked about, you know, start loving your, hugging your loved ones and everything. He talked about some kid that died. And so you never, he said, you never know, you know, what could happen. It's always good to always love somebody, always give someone a hug. So that was an excellent speech in, in, in victory. So what's next for Benson Henderson? That man is only going to get better. He's getting better right now as we speak. So and it's what's next for Nate Diaz? Back to the old drawing board, I suppose. I don't know, but he may have to figure out something. He may have to improve on something because that performance tonight against Benson Henderson, man, he had no chance. No chance in hell of winning the, uh, the title fight. So congratulations, Benson Henderson, on still being the lightweight champion. I mean, it's such an exciting division. I mean, all divisions are excited, but this is a very action-packed division. That you know, and he and and that just shows you, show tells the world, told the world that his victories against Frankie Edgar was were no flukes, was no fluke. So, anyway, man, I'm gonna get going. Um,
I'm gonna go, like I said, I need to talk to Yogi and let him know what's going on and check out the fight of Pacquiao and Marquez for which I could, could care less. But any event, take care, guys. <laughs> Be safe and um, have fun responsibly. Okay, take care, everybody. Healing. It is all that is.